Need some help? The Mysterium is infected with a virus or something, and it's trapped someone inside. If you execute the breakpoint condition, the system should reset. Just try not to get hurt in the process. How would I get hurt if it's just an illusion? That, my friend, is what we're trying to find out. enough data for now. Feel free to try again if you have time. found one of our dev diaries. This is a project Betsy was passionate about. Unfortunately, more people are trapped in Mysteriums throughout the city. But we must find out who's behind this and bring them to justice. This whole Mysterium thing feels shady. But if there are people trapped, I gotta help them and try to figure out what's really going on. Okay, Miles. Remember, everything's an illusion. 
Even that sage with Therio. Whoa! This sure doesn't feel like an illusion. Why are they doing this? safe now. However much time you need, you're safe. Hmm. 
Looks like I got a message. Spider-Man, Betsy here. Quentin and Cole are scrubbing through all the very helpful data you've provided. And I was thinking, when the Mysteriums are back to operating safely, it'd be great to get a Spider-Man endorsement. Pro bono, of course. <laughs> We're running out of capital here, and it's making Quentin quite anxious. Anyway, just a thought. No need to call back. Uh, bye. Sorry, Betsy. We have a firm rule against body endorsements. Might want to rethink that business plan. on the trial of the century, the people of New York versus Norman Osborn. You remember Devil's Breath, how Mayor Norman was indirectly responsible for poisoning the city a couple years back? Well, his lawyers have put the march of justice down yet again with more delays. Our source inside the courtroom tells me they're bringing frivolous motions to prolong discovery. <sighs> All love to my legal eagle friends, but some days you just gotta say it. Screw you. All right, see you next time, kids. Yeah. 
last one. Amazing! You actually lived. Thanks, Spider-Man. You're all right. Take a breath and try to relax. I gotta throw them into the void to debug this one. I know this is all an illusion, but it feels so real. You can't save anyone if you can't save yourself. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. Welcome to the mysterious Spider-Man! <laughs> you felt that one, didn't you? Wherever you are! 
Another message from Betsy. Hi, Spider-Man. Betsy here again. I have Cole here with me while Quentin is off doing some focused work. You mean off being all weird and moody? <laughs> Dude needs to talk to Spider-Man. Yes, well, I'm working on getting him some help. We're all a little stressed. Which is why I'd like to ask if you can expedite your work on the Mysteriums. The sooner we can fix this, the sooner Quentin will return to his usual brilliant self. Sounds like Beck is taking this hard. I feel for him. see reality. You can only feel it. <sighs> Deep.
Where is your courage? You are mine now! Somebody help me! Stay where you are. I'll find you. You may be a hero out there, but in here, you're I got news for you. To some people, I'm a villain no matter where I am. Take it slow. Betsy called again? Let's see what she had to say. Hello, Spider-Man. 
Um, I just wanted to let you know that Quinton has agreed to enter some court-monitored counseling to help him with his post-prison transition. Finally. Cole, please be respectful. He's been through a lot. Sorry. I'm just... I'm just glad he's getting help, you know? Anyway, Quinton asked me to pass this along. He thinks he's close to figuring out what's going on. So just keep up the good work, Spider-Man. Good on Beck for going into counseling. We all need help sometimes. Skepticism will save you. Okay, mystery person. I'll keep that in mind. Prepare for some spider hands. Nightmare is over. You're safe now.
This ends at the beginning. What does that mean? Instead of going to counseling, he went somewhere else. When we confronted him, he said some threatening things and then left. Hopefully he just needs to cool off, but if you see him or hear from him, can you let us know? Thank you. Uh, this just went from bad to worse. Got a new voicemail. Spider-Man, we need to meet. Come to Coney Island. I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Well, that doesn't sound like a trap at all. Just hope he hasn't hurt Betsy and Cole.
Maybe you might be the spy. I got it. The message was using some kind of qubit-based algorithm. But I built a decoder table, which was actually kind of genius of me because... Cool, cool. What does the message say? It's an address. Looks like an old subway terminal. Been out of service since the 80s. Think it's a trap? Nah. Doesn't have a trappy vibe. What kind of vibe, then? I have no idea. And that's what scares me. Okay, where's Beck? Welcome, Spider-Man. If you're looking for Betsy and Cole, they are no longer with us. You killed them? Don't act surprised. You've known from the beginning who you're dealing with. 